Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button for daily updates. Facial hair and your aunt's hair. How's it going, guys? Good to see you all. <laughs> I've been told I kind of look like a hipster Jesus. I think I look more like Jesus if he never moved out of his parents' basement. I think that's kind of what I got. It's good to be here in Ottawa. I'm from, from Toronto, and I take you know, public transit everywhere there, and it's, it's terrible, I know. I mean, you can tell. I look like someone who rides the bus for sure, right? I get it. But sometimes when you're on it, you'll overhear incredible conversations. Like, I was on it, and this girl just turned to her friend, and she's like, oh, Dante and his boys are all getting a blowjob tonight. <laughs> I had so many questions, right? What did Dante do to get a blowjob? Not just for him, no, no. <laughs> him and all of his boys. He's a pretty good friend. He's okay. He's okay. This girl, she didn't stop talking there either. She kept on going. All gems. She was like, I'm getting my drink on. I'm catching something tonight. That's the most casual sex by far. She went. I mean, I'm not trying to judge anyone, right? Do what you will, but I mean, the first time you're with someone, if they say to you, you don't have to wear a condom, yeah, that's definitely something you do have to wear a condom with. It's a lesson we learned the hard way, for sure. I felt the need to say something to this girl. I was just like, hey, I'm Tim, I'm one of Dante's boys. <laughs> This, this beard going on, and I told my friend I was gonna shave it off, and she was like, don't shave your beard. You look really good with a beard. That is not a compliment, though. It's like, what, you prefer me if you can't see the majority of my face? Thank you. Appreciate it. I had a mustache going on before that. And when you have a mustache, people basically think two things about you. They're like, hipster or pedophile. <laughs> Both of them come across equally accusatory. Which is weird. Like on one hand, you know, everyone hates you and they want you to die in prison. But then on the other hand, people want even worse for pedophiles, for sure. <laughs> I'm 35 years old, which sometimes will surprise people when I tell them that. They'll be like, you don't look it. Notice they're not saying you look good for your age. So it's like, clear difference. I'm like, Tim, how long are you gonna grow your hair? How long are you gonna grow your hair? I think I'm gonna grow my hair about as long as I'm still desperately clinging to my youth. I think that's what I'm going for. I find this weird thing too. A lot of times when you, when you ask people their age, they just put it right back at you. They're like, how old do you think I am? It's not like when you ask someone the time, they're like, what time do you think it is? <laughs> It'd be late, help me out here. The people, when you ask them their age, they want to give you a chance to like accidentally insult them or something? I don't know. I was working at one place, and my boss, he started playing the game. He was like, how old do you guys think I am? The girl I work with, she guessed 50 years old. Yeah, you see that. That's never the winning bid in this game. <laughs> my boss was 32 years old. <laughs> She was fired soon after that. Not for that, but for that, for sure. <laughs> I'm a white man, you guys can see that. White men, we have a lot of privileges, a lot of advantages. Keeping that in mind, I gotta say, for a white guy, I'm not doing very good, you know? It's, like, it's pretty embarrassing, you know? 
I'm playing like the T-ball version of life. <laughs> and striking out, like it's embarrassing. I grew up skateboarding. You can tell I'm pretty cool, you know this, right? <laughs> you're skateboarding though. People will just yell at you out of cars, and a big thing they'll yell. Skate or die! <laughs> skate or die! I always pick skate, alright? Every time. I actually think skateboarding and, and stand-up comedy are very similar. You know, skateboarding, you might try a trick like nine, ten times before you land it. Comedy is the same way. You've got to try jokes out before they work. It just shows with both of them, if you work really hard, your parents will still be disappointed in you. <laughs> the change the thing. My dad, his name, Ronald McDonald. I know, that's a fact that he has had to live with his whole life. <laughs> My grandparents named him before, you know, the McDonald's mascot, you know, blew up. They just like names that rhyme, you know, that's it. My dad, very different than the Ronald McDonald's you guys know. <laughs> like growing up, wouldn't describe a lot of dinners as happy meals, you know? <laughs> so my dad, my dad heard that joke and I was like, is that okay, dad? And he's like, yeah, I get it, it's comedy. It's like, yeah, comedy. <laughs> my mom, she's actually 100% Italian. So that makes me predominantly Italian, which I know it's, it's hard to tell, because unlike most Italian people, I don't have the Italian flag draped from my body, you know? <laughs> I only do it at World Cup, that's, you know. It's not just skateboarding either, where people have just yelled at me out of cars. I got like the weirdest heckle a couple years ago. Someone yelled at me, David Suzuki. <laughs> It's a complicated diss from a moving vehicle, you know? Like, I had like sort of like a David Suzuki kind of sweater on, you know, beard, glasses. Still one pretty big detail separating me from David Suzuki. Much older man, he's much older. I think they were calling me like a white hipster David Suzuki or something. Not a big burn, as soon as I heard it, as soon as I did, I just yelled back and was like, I'll show you the nature of things! And I got him with a very, very Canadian burn. <laughs> very. I think I got CanCon credit for that, actually. I feel like I am like very Canadian. Like, I'm patriotic. I use Canadian Netflix by choice, all right? That's right. Yeah, somebody's got to watch Mr. D, and it's me. That's right. Sacrifice I make for the country. You now, when I'm on the TTC, I'm not just eavesdropping on promiscuous girls' conversations. No, no, no. I like to read about really weird news stories. And I read this one about this kid who was playing the game Grand Theft Auto. And then he went out and stole a neighbor's car and started joyriding across Toronto and outside of that area. And I read this article. I could not believe it. I was like, how is the headline for this not GTA inspired GTA in the GTA, you know? <laughs> there is no integrity left in the media, that's what I'm saying.